Tam, we've known each other a long time. Your family, as you know, tend to descend on us in great numbers because you never <laughs> stop breeding. And uh, I go down to the baker's and buy a... Well, I'm going to show you. I buy donuts. <laughs> and your dear children, when they've eaten their donuts, and in fact you're no better yourself, don't bother to wash your fingers. You just go off and with sticky jam and sugar <laughs> all around the house, you completely trash our cottage. So my challenge to you, my darling Tand May, is that you should learn to make donuts. <laughs> Are you up for that? It's a challenge, <laughs> to isn't make it? Donuts. It is a challenge. But, but, but don't they come from the factory? Uh, yes, but you can also make them at home. You've never made donuts. You've never made donuts. I've never made donuts. You've never made donuts. Watch out for this. Sleeves up, we're making jam donuts. Charles's challenge. Yeah. Now that's, I don't think that's bread dough. That is a slightly richer dough. It's got milk in it and eggs. Okay. It smells yeasty. Can you smell it? It smells like beer. It does, it does, doesn't it? It's mm. not going to explode and spatter the kitchen, is it? Probably. I think put some flour on your hands. Okay. Right. What sort of donut person are you? It depends on my mood. You know, there are those days when you just need a bit of a jammy donut, and some days you just want a ring. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Nobody ever. Never gives me a ring, but yes. <laughs> you have to earn a donut, otherwise yes. it's indulgence. Yeah, absolutely. Literally, that will just get pasted onto your thigh, won't it? You might as well put it straight. Straight there. That's where it's going. <laughs> like that. That's where it's going. I'm going to go for a big one. Try them. I think mine are a bit better than yours. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. Is he a floater or a sinker? <laughs> he is. Whoa! He was a he's sinker. A sinker? He... No, he's not. He's, he's not. He's not. A... He's a floater. Look at that. Sinker. It's a sinker. Oh, that one's a sinker. It's a floater! <laughs> I'm sorry, this is so good. <laughs> He's not coming up. He's not coming up. You're going down. <laughs> You're coming up! So, would you ever resort to sprinkles? <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> would I ever resort to sprinkles? To sprinkles. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now look, what do you make of that? I think that's pretty good, actually. Looks a bit like a profiterole. <laughs> You're quite pleased, aren't you? I'm quite, quite, quite proud of them. I'm a bit emotional. I'm getting emotional. You. OK. There we are. So... <laughs> I think, yeah, put it in the jam and sort of... Squeeze. Come on. Just squeeze. It's going to pop all over your face. <laughs> Won't. Just squeeze. Squeeze. I'm really squeezing. OK. Then pull it out. Slowly. <laughs> <laughs> I think the challenge has beaten us. No, no, it's no. not, it's not. Come on, look, I must be doing something wrong. Please don't make it talk. <laughs> Disguise <Just>. it! <laughs> How good's that? That is fantastic. Do you know what? I'd buy that off you. Well, thanks for coming. That's uh, it's been lovely having you. And um, <clears throat> basically, I'm going to be taking you from the show. Break it open. Let's have a look. <gasps> is it cooked? Oh, look! How cool is that? Is that for me? Yeah. Thank you, mate. Charles Collingwood. We made donuts. Still to come on a taste of my life. Tamsin's best friends dig up a sentimental dish. She is very fastidious about some mashed potatoes which go <laughs> on top. Friend Stephen Mangan challenges us to do something with... Uh, I know you're quite a strict vegetarian, the branch of which eats ham. <laughs> and Tamsin reflects on life, acting and food over her final feast. I always thought I wasn't really interested in food, but I think you... <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> this is Frederick! <laughs> 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 now, your first big break came with Black Books. 
Yeah. Fabulous. Oh, what a happy time. Every single day of all three series, I used to sit there going, I can't believe I'm here. Take this out, table 12. <laughs> no, there are no plates. Well, use recipe books with pictures of plates in the front. Do I have to explain everything here? I used to come home and my husband, Rick, would say, how's work? And I'd go, yeah, 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 it's fine, it's fine, I'm coping, it's fine. He'd go, how's work? And i go, look, I'm with Dylan Moore and Bill Bailey all day long. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Did you go through that thing a few years ago when fish dishes suddenly became very, very smart and, and chefs started playing around with them? And There's a brilliant bit in one episode of Black Books where um, Bernard turns the, the bookshop into a restaurant. Oh. But there's this one beautiful bit where Manny is trying to make soup and he brings the soup back and he says, take it away, he says, take it away. He said, fine food only comes in towers. Bring it back to me in a tower. And then, of course, the gag, he turns around and he has made a tower of soup. <laughs> What's this? Where are the turrets? It's rubbish, gentlemen! <laughs> Well, I can't pull off a tower of soup, but I can do a fish tower. When I became a vegetarian, I did always keep on the fish. I, I thought, oh, because, you know, they're happy. <laughs> <laughs> they're pretty happy. <laughs> they're happy. I mean, they're stupid. There are some key rules to getting the best from any fried fish dish. Remember that fillets burn easily, so watch your heat. Floured fish is tastier but also allows you to fry for longer. When pressed with your finger, well-cooked fish should spring back. Are you a posh restaurant person? I'm not really no. interested, to be honest. It make, does make me laugh. What I do like doing is looking at the waiters, because they look at you as though they are superior to you. It's part of their DNA to look... It is. It's like they superior. are superior, but also they, they're much more intelligent. They shouldn't be there, and you certainly shouldn't be there. Dinner parties that are spent only talking about food. Um, oh, I know, you've been there, haven't you? I so have been there. <laughs> Everybody wants to talk to you about food, food don't they? <laughs> it does make me go... I've, I'm got, I've... You know what, if it tastes nice, I'm there. And how's your dead mum? Do you know what I mean? That kind of yeah. thing. I like the conversation that happens around food. Well, I'm making this up as I go along, but you could almost call this a crown of fish. So, you've got your little tower of fish, then? That's a very nice tower. Look, it's got li little layers, it's got different... It goes in different directions. Any idea how successful Green Room was going to be? No, no, n no, 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 nothing I do. <laughs> I think it's going to go anywhere. If you love me, lie still and don't open your eyes. If you don't love me, sit up and sing I Will Survive. Really? You do get that feeling watching it, that there was something... There was actually some magic that happened that almost was unexpected. That you couldn't say, this is what is going to happen. You it's a bit like my dad's cooking. It's like, you know, let's put this together and see what doesn't explode. You know, it's like... A lot of it did explode it, it, on Green Wing, and, and that's probably some of the best bits. You're a good gossip. Are you kind of one of those friends who gossips on the phone? No. You keep secrets? Yeah. Sorry. God. So you can tell me anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a couple of friends. Who, have you? Um, what are they called? Who might... Who just might have a message for you. Sam and Rick's children came and planted these. We fixed up this holiday and found ourselves in an idyllic place in Grenada called Petit Bacay. We met over this breakfast dish, really. The breakfast was called the Petit Bacay breakfast, and it was this papaya.